Welcome to the PA State Nine Ball Championships 2012. Shane Morrow versus Ron Beard. I'm Alvin with Inside Pool. I'm here with Ronnie Wiseman. Welcome, sir, and welcome everyone on the chat. Thanks. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a great little spot. And, uh, and nice little events here. And so far, so good. It's been a little bit of good tournament action and good pool action. Yep, you won your, you're on the winner's side. You won yes. your first two matches. So far, so good, yeah. Let's yep. see what happens. Uh, just got to keep it going. Shane's a heck of a shooter, I'll tell you. He's, he's going to be, be something someday, I He's think. pretty explosive, yeah. I played him and... Uh, He's hungry, isn't he? He looks hungry. He looks really focused, and he's uh, shooting the balls real well. Mm. He's a hungry guy, that's for sure. I'm really not familiar with Ryan Beard, but uh, I'm going to get familiar with him as we watch him play. Yeah, I was. somebody said he was okay. Okay, good. Let's check him out. Mm -hmm. Pretty intense race. Race to seven, alternate the break. Oh, yeah. I like that. That makes for a yeah, great show. Exactly, yeah. You can't... Uh, one slip-up could cost you a couple of games, and uh, you're... I can't catch up. You got to alternate the break. This is Shane here. I noticed from my uh, doing all the videos that the players that come out of the gate firing, like the first shot is Hill Hill. Those are the players that usually win, the, the ones that are. They don't come out of the gate just playing around. They come out wanting to win. Okay, I understand. So they're coming out shoot. This guy here, he's got himself a bank on the one. It's like if he makes these guys a chance to win the game. I see a lot of trouble. We'll see if he's uh, Table see if he comes out like you. As you say, they're coming out. <laughs> That's how you play when you get going, man. I see you. You play good, man. You see the aggressiveness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I learned that. I learned that from getting beat by the aggressiveness. So I ah. said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh -huh. do the same thing back. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. I've seen when you play it works, all over. It, when it works, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've seen so, you play all over the world, man. So there you go. There's a, there's a pretty good little nice. shot. Back cut. That's the most missed shot in pool. There you go. You called it. Because you can't see the angle on it, I think. Yeah, what do you do with during It's an that? imaginary ghost ball angle mm. is what it is. And it's, and it's, you better uh, better have some experience shooting at it to, to make it. Mm -hmm. He left this guy pretty tough, but a uh, makeable shot. you got to really visualize that back cut going in. Is, is yeah, that the secret yeah, on noticed, that? What I noticed is he didn't go take a look at where he needed yeah, he to didn't. hit the ball. So the, he was guessing. Yeah. That's a, you don't know, notice the difference between an experienced player who usually have a look at the shot. Right. Well, it looks like you might catch a roll here. A real big one, too. Look at this. He's wow. got uh, so two's right next to the nine. Yep, he's stuck. Well, he missed and he lost control of the game and uh, mm -hmm. got a lucky roll on him so far. Yeah, once the cue ball starts flying around the table, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> never know where it's going to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't take a lot of those reckless shots, or those whirly bird shots. Like, I noticed Richie Rich was swinging at a couple of them last match. It's, that's the difference between your level of play and, like, Richie's level. And it shows up in the long run. So, mm -hmm. you you know, this game, if you're going to play, you go play it towards the long run. Hmm. If you're going to be involved... Yeah, you don't take those flyers too often. Try not to. I don't know what I suggest he does here. If he can't go two rails past the eight, he's got to go up one rail and back and down and try and hit this, uh, make contact with this two ball. That's why he's looking at the one rail shot here. It's Ron Beard. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, that's pretty close. No, nope, he's yeah, gonna set up the combo. No, uh, well. We'll see. That'll be a choice. No, you might as well just yeah. go for it. He's going for the combo. Wow. Like this you know, this guy don't fool around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that one either, but it, I guess the way that the two's coming into the nine, it naturally rolls towards the pocket. I'd say if it was more straight on, I wouldn't go for it. But. Well, they fired at 100 miles an hour. Sure did. Shot it like it. 
straight in. He yeah. shot. He's kind of he's a hyper character, man. Yes, I noticed that. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to you know, he plays pretty good from the from the lead. We'll see uh, see what happens if he uh -huh. maintains the lead or not. Have you uh, ever seen him play before? Actually, just a, just sparingly, a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, I've seen him play a lot. He gets fired up. He fires oh, up. Oh yeah, he gets lot, fired lot up. Of adrenaline oh, in his yeah. game. Yeah, he gets mad when he starts missing. Boy, he gets mad. He gets mad. Red. He gets red as could be. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna have to get over that to uh, take it to another level. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're one to zero here in the race to seven. Breakers. Goes forward. Look at the nine. nine. Doesn't count. Doesn't count, and he's hooked on the one. He didn't take care of that cue ball very well on the break. Kind of had that yeah. top spin on it after it hit the one. And if he was in the center of the table, he'd have a nice layout. But he's not, so see how he, see how he handles this. About the two balls all the way to the other, the end of the table down here. So he's pushing. I'm making a pretty decent push here. He hit it hard. He left his opponent a real tempting, tough shot, which is not such a bad thing to do. Yep, leave him long. He's got to jack up, fire this in, and draw back for the two. Whew. It's a tall order. Yeah, but they a good, good shots to make. I mean, he, really, he had it pretty good, actually. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I think he took his time and I think a pretty good push out. And he got he, he tricked his opponent into going for it. Got him. Got him. Uh, got made a smart move. Yeah. Shane didn't take his time very much on that shot. So he didn't even get to get rewarded. So we get to see this. On beard play. No trouble in this run out. The only thing you can do is do something to yourself here, so you should be out. It's a pretty clean cut for having the last name Beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was stupid, sorry. <laughs> Well, he's got a tester here. He's close oh, yeah. to the rail. The ball's a long way from the pocket, a long way from the ball. He's got to put a stroke on it. Go on the rail and back for shape. Could have been a little better position here. I'm sure he would like to a little better than it is, but we'll see how good he shoots. He looked like a champ and didn't draw it oh. quite. Oh, God. Didn't draw it quite enough. He kind of. Well, that's that's tough. He left himself in a really bad spot now. He had a nice angle to draw it and draw, draw. He just kind of center balled it. Yeah. This and is the cloth a... slides. It's new. It's a new cloth on the, uh -huh. on the table and it slid behind the eight. I got a note. That's a new cloth. Oh, look at this shot. He almost nice made. attempt. Game will this game will punish you. If you're not right on. We're up here. We're up here where we. It's hard to see where if the four goes on the side or not. But yeah, now I see it. Yeah, he's got a real nice layout. Yeah. He can take an advantage. Of, take advantage. Of this, take a big two nothing lead. Yep. Which is big, I think, in alternate it break. It is. Uh, as, as as the beginning. Especially in the beginning. Yeah. Gary Abu, Ben Jones. I've never heard of that Gary Abu guy, but his oh, player really? auction was going. They were going nuts over that guy. Yeah, he must play real good. He's a he's a he's a, he's a real good player from uh, Louisiana. Hmm. You're just on the road about every week, aren't you? You're all over I the wish, place, I man. Wish, I have been. 
I wish I could say that. I, I, I love I love to do this kind of thing and enjoy, uh -huh. I really enjoy it. But I can't say that. I, I did go out last weekend and this weekend, but before that I had been over for months. No. Other than Louisville. I see. Yeah, I remember seeing you there. All right, two to zero. And he took advantage of the Ron Beard's mistake and hooking himself. But all goes back to where he didn't get the proper position and he had to do something. It's called he self destructed a little bit. Well, you're the star here this weekend. You're out of Detroit, is that correct? Yeah, I've been out of Detroit for, for a number of years now. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, I kind of like it down there. It's uh, My family's right across the river over in Canada and Windsor, Ontario. Uh, my, daughter's, my daughter's in Detroit here. I see. There with, with myself. And uh, How did you get started playing pool? Everything's all good. I got started playing pool. I was taking drum lessons, and downstairs was a pool room. Oh, interesting. And when I went downstairs, sometimes there was a, a little early for my appointment. Ah. My drum lessons, <laughs> my drum lessons, and uh, I took the stick in my hand. And once I once I started hitting them balls and heard heard them go in the back of the pocket, I got I kind of liked the sound of that ah, better than I did the drums. I see. So that's how I got started. That's awesome, man. That's good. It's a cute story. Yeah, you're one of the flashy characters in pool, you know. Character, you said. Yeah, yeah that's a good word. There's all the characters in pool. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, we try and have some fun with it. Yeah, you're you're good for the game, man. I really I appreciate. Always that. have enjoyed having you around. That's cool. Appreciate that. Yeah, we try to make it uh, make it fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. It needs it. Our pool family. Our pool family needs it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he found some lint on the table. <laughs> Still going through He's his. He's pretty routine. unlucky, actually. Broke the balls pretty good, and, and you know, the cue ball again had that top spin on it. One's over the hole down here. It's, it's, these, are hard, these are hard pushes. Hmm. I don't know what he did, but I think he left him straight in. Sure looks like it. So this is a big game for Ron Beard. He needs to uh, yep. catch up here. Yeah, he can clearly see the one ball. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to forget about what happened the last game or two and just mm -hmm. go ahead and try and win this game and regroup. And I don't like how he got down on that shot. He kind of just flopped into it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. He didn't, look real, he didn't look real comfortable there no. shooting the shot. He didn't hit it nice and smooth or nothing. That's the difference between you pro players and the players that don't play every day. Is It's a routine every time, the same thing, the same thing. Yeah, you know, the pre-shot pre routine is important. Mm -hmm. It's all about the details. It's good to have... Uh, Good to have a routine mm -hmm. that works, of course. Yeah, like guys like Archer. Oh, who, yeah. I mean, he's meticulous about his routine. He sure is. He's too much, but, man, he's a champion player. That's right. He's been a phenomenal player for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. Player of the decade, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. but you, yeah, his routines are, like I say, it's a little too much, a little annoying, maybe, maybe uh -huh. to watch on a situation like this, but his results are phenomenal. Yeah. There's Ooh. that back cut that you're talking yep. about, the hardest shot in pool. Mm -hmm. We missed it by about a foot and got lucky. Yep. I watched uh, Kid Delicious miss one of those on ESPN to lose about 20 grand against Corey <laughs> Duell. Simple back cut. Yeah. You know, he just, from that moment, I thought, wow, because he had ran the whole set almost. And then, I mean, he was neck and neck with Corey Duell on ESPN. I sure. watched it live. Sure. Missed it. I'm sure he remembers it. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of things you don't ever forget. Yeah. Ooh. When you try to make a good shot there, it's, you're able to cut that. That's a little hard luck. But I guess he didn't get this or this wrong. He didn't get so lucky. He had a chance. Actually, Shane Morrow had a chance to make that ball. But here he's got another chance. It's 2 nothing. Uh, you know. These are must-win games when you get a shot like this. Oh, yeah. Looks unsure. Let's roll it in. Best to get it's up. It's a good on. shot. There. It's a good shot. This is, this is pretty makeable. I mean, it could be a little better. It probably should have went back and forth, but you do what you feel like you can do here. Nice. 
it's going to spike this four ball in, in there and roll up for the five side, I would imagine. Yes, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's got a little problem there with the seven in the way, but it just rolls down there, and sometimes you got to take the little the worst of it and make a good shot next shot. Should be all right. Just kind of rolls this in nice. But let his cue ball take its natural course. Steady. Look at this. What a really good shot there. Hit that with inside English. Drew it and then let it come on down. Eh? Really nice. I said we have, we're not familiar with this guy's game, but that was a hell of a heck of a shot there. Uh -huh. He's using a lot of English, and to play, use English and be Actually, precise with it is. It is pretty. Uh, take a lot of long time to learn that how to do that. I agree. I have to play center ball a lot of the times because just it throws off too much. I mean, he made a heck of a shot, and this is uh, it's getting rewarded. Mm -hmm. He's going to win this game by the looks of it. Yeah. To make the score two to one. Spoke too soon, and I don't yeah. jinx the guy. Uh, Unbelievable. That's common. Look at poke stroke today. He said he didn't hit it nice. He just kind of stayed down and followed through. That happens. I mean, you know, that's usually how you miss. It's a mistake like that. It's all decision making on how to shoot the shot. I don't know what little Shane Morrow's at, but it looks like. Uh, He's getting cold. Yeah, it's a little chilly down there. Uh huh. You know, as I sit there, I got my jacket on. Yeah. I went up to the car and got a jacket. It's, it's cool down there. Uh huh. I can see this guy really likes to shoot. He don't, oh, yeah. He ain't looking to play no safety. <laughs> he's excited, man. Look at this. He just let that ball just rip. Uh -huh. uh, he don't care where it landed. He's going to shoot another one here for us. Uh huh. He's into it. Yeah. And he is into it. He loves pool. That's cool. Look at that look on his face, man. Yeah, he's he ready. He looks real intense. <laughs> he stays focused. His oh, eyes yeah. are on them balls the whole time he's at the table. That's like the way, it. isn't it? I like that. Oh. Yeah, he missed, but he, he yeah. went down firing. Uh oh. Now, here we go again. Oh, he slammed the cue? First time, he said, yeah. you know him. I'm not real familiar with him. Yeah. That'll, that'll, that'll be the beginning of a... Oh. Fun. He's like Earl a little bit. Oh, okay. All right, two yeah, to this, one. This guy got lucky to win that game after uh -huh. what he did there. No donut for Ron. No. So far, so good. He's mm -hmm. okay. So who was the players that, like, really helped your game? Uh, oh, we got to go back a long ways. You're going back yeah. to... Uh, Maybe I shouldn't take you back that far. No, it's all fine, Danny. Okay. I, mean, I grew up playing snooker over in Canada, and uh, uh -huh. we had a couple local guys that... Yeah, of course, the pool room owner is the one that helped my game. His name was Gilly Letourneau, but we go back um, when we cross the border to play pool. And yeah. We go back into the days where Cornbread Wed uh -huh. was out playing all the time. I see. Uh, Miami. Huh. That's a nickname. Is it's Isaac Gonzalez is his real name from Puerto Rico. Another guy named Harry Sexton. His name is Pucci. And California John. I mean, a, I, I give you a handful of guys that were great players that uh, never played no pro tour stuff. They did right. big money games. Right. There was a lot of action where I, when I grew up. That's pretty much what attracted me to the game, all the I see. excitement of it. Yeah, it sure is exciting. Especially tournaments like Derby City, where all the big money boys yeah, show up. Yeah, a lot up. of money action, a lot of money games, a lot of action. I heard somebody bark for fifty thousand a set. There, <laughs> I was going up the elevator. I'm like, I heard this guy say, I didn't see who it was. I play you fifty thousand a set right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's some corporation guys. Jeez. Yeah, the guy's got money to burn. Yeah. There, there is some people with some paper in the game. Not, not uh. enough. <laughs> you see that break shot there? Yeah. What, what was that? Um, cue ball cue still ball moving. Went, went like three rails around. That's the kind of thing that uh, if we're if we're trying to 
not trying to knock Ron Beard's game or anything, but if no. you're trying to learn how to play the game of fullness, then you got to study that break shot and get that cue ball working to the best of your ability in, around the center of that table. Yeah, I'm breaking from the box. Do you have a problem making the corner ball with breaking the box, or do you go for the one ball? I think, uh, the, uh, depending on the table, if I see like this TV table, this these mm -hmm. balls have been going in pretty easily. I'm not trying to make the one. Uh, no. The ball's been actually going in in the corners. Oh, it has. It's been popping in the yeah, corner. As long as you hit them pretty good, solid, with a little bit of draw, it looks like the ball's going to mm -hmm. go in for you. Playing safe here. Just a, wow, he made pocket this really ball. Really good shot. Look at this. Wow, nice. Now this is where these rules that we got with playing by here. No jump cues. Yep, no jump cues. This is uh, so you gotta gotta use a little more of your talent, which here you can mass say around the eight and curve right. and nick the nick the one. Or so he can try and jump it like he is with his full cue. Oh, a little too hard. Yeah, yeah he's in a ball was real close to the pocket. The side pockets are tight here. Yeah, they are. Unlike the corners, they're pretty player friendly. Yeah, they are. This is an earlier diamond table. Gotcha. Diamond so two, three, I think. And with the new cloth. So. They're going in pretty easily. They're pretty friendly. You can actually shoot with a lot of confidence at these pockets, these corners. Sides, so got to be careful. Yeah. This shot's about as big as the ball. A little bit of an off angle shot. He's going to take care of his cue ball. He's going to try to make this, yeah. Just let, Made it loose, it. let it loose a little bit. Sometimes the shot requires that. Yeah. And now he looks okay. With control. As long as there's control, you can do that kind yeah, of thing. He makes this shot. I see no, no reason why he shouldn't win this game and tie the match 2 2. You can make that line go. Yeah. So nice. There's, there's the player friendly shot. Uh huh. Yeah, that thing caught the rail a little bit and still went in. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot of tables are like that. On the diamond table before this model, that wouldn't have gone. Exactly. The diamond one. Exactly. That's the hardest table, I think. I, I agree with you. All right, seven, eight, nine, and it's a tie ball game. What you got to do is try and get past the side pocket here. Looks like he hit it very well. That pass aside creates a much, much easier position. So if you stay above the side there, that shot's harder a lot harder. Right. Looks like perfect. Perfect angle. I'll tie it up two two. Now do you play with a low deflection shaft or a normal shaft? No, I play with a Predator shaft. Uh, you do, huh? So yeah, and it's a new fat shaft, and uh, so I really, uh, I really do like the way it hits. Yeah. yeah obviously, or else I wouldn't play with it, right? Yeah. So, but you grew up I on the other couple, ones. Uh, actually, I come up with a Sean, Mucci Sean, kind of guy, and then yeah. went to the Predator shaft. Just kept up mm -hmm. with things a little bit, and I like, I like the way it hits. So, some, uh -huh. some of us veteran players don't like, don't like to make changes, but. I went right. For it. I'm surprised that you know after being <laughs> yeah. being uh, right on that other on the normal for so long. How long did it take you to adjust to it? A couple weeks. Yeah, that's it, huh? It didn't help that the inventors were from Detroit. It didn't uh, help me though, so they said, "Come on, you gotta give this a try." Right, right, right. And of course, I went. For they it. kept pushing you. You probably wanted to quit, but you're like, oh, "I'll keep going <laughs> with it." <laughs> It was pretty strange at first. It was a pretty stiff hit. Uh -huh. But we're used to more deflection. Yeah, I haven't tried that one. Yeah. Right. I like the old one with the cat on it. Oh, yeah, the first yeah. one was awesome. Yeah, yeah, the that's second pretty, one. That's pretty sporty. Mm -hmm. Well, back when I was running the streets in, 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 in Little Alex Peggy Island, I uh, uh -huh. used to do a lot of little things and right. do a little road work and go play tours that. and tournaments and stuff. I watched him pick one up and go win every tournament in sight with it. So right. It didn't bother me not to play, play exactly. with it. Exactly. Damn. It sure did. The thing works. 
but come to find out, it's really not so much the skills of the player. It is, huh? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's some valuable information there. There's a real good shot by uh, by Shane Morrow. He was jacked up, and it, it, it was a shot, game-winning shot, actually. You make it, you get the automatic shape. The rest is elementary. Could, could, should be the way he plays. I don't predict he goes out. There. Yeah. If once he gets going, look out. Yeah, he looks like the kind of guy you to, to beat him. You're gonna have to go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. get out at just whatever time you go to the table, and don't wait for him to make no mistakes. Yep. He's in the treetops here. Yeah. It's okay. Those shooters like him, they, they don't bother them. Mm-hmm. Just give me a shot, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> that attitude. Shoot well. Yeah, he plays with he be, he can beat Wilkie and them kind of guys, you know, Josh Brothers, those kind of guys, Matt Crawl. He plays with those crew. That league. Thanks a little action too. I remember asking if you want to want to play some. Uh huh. Uh, he wanted the seven from you. And uh, <laughs> exactly, I, mean, I seen a player set, and I said, "No, oh, now how do you really want to play?" <laughs> right. He says, "With the seven. I said, oh, "Time out." Man. <laughs> I don't think it's we can do that. A little late night for that one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't qualify. He's unqualified. <laughs> yeah. I told him to play you even. Yeah. Like, man, you got to play him even, man. Yeah, we start there. <laughs> start yeah. there. Yeah. In a way, he should. He should have played me even. Uh huh. It doesn't matter where they go. Look at them. Look at the guy. Yeah, he just split the pocket on that last shot. So. Yeah, this should be a good one. You got to go all the way around the table. It's a four rail shape shot. You got to make it. Go really hit it. He's got to bear down Going on this up puppy. and down. One one round. I don't like uh, the way yeah, he he's going to see out of. I like the all the uh, way around the table I shot see. where yeah. this way he's, he's in a little trouble. Well, that's your experience that. Yeah, but yeah, we're, that's, you could probably more, edge out on him. It's a more risky shot, but uh, in a long race, but it's more. Uh, if you're gonna go for it, go for it, you know. He's got a bit of a spot here. Put an extension on. Ah, oh, he's gonna get the Earl Q going. There we go. <laughs> Nine foot Q. Uh huh. I'm bank this in. I, I'm gonna guess. Oh, he still needs a dang, dang uh, bridge. Nope. Oh, he made, oh, look at this. He went wow. over and just whacked it and made it. That was, well, that's ridiculous. A great that. shot. What a great shot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Took the lead three to two. <laughs> He's a funny he shot. One. Yeah. You should well shoot at him. All right, we got Mueller's.com is promoting this event. Simonis Cloth. Tom Simpson's National Billiards Academy, Hammerhead Hustling Clothing, Pool Player Excuses Crying Towel, Kamui Products, and Bank Shot Calculator, my friend. A lot of, a lot of sponsorships there. Yeah. Should pay like 200000 Uh-huh. Yeah, we're making that kind of money for sure. <laughs> this is professional pool, man. Uh, it's the big time. We do appreciate everyone out there on the Ustream chat. If you have questions for Ronnie, you can type them in, and we'll we'll see what, if he can answer them or not. Yeah, for all the St. Patty's Day. Yep. Home home watchers. Mm -hmm. We're all having a good time when we're out here battling it out. That's right. Yep. You won the one pocket yesterday, and you're hoping yes. to win the nine balls tomorrow. Yeah. That'd be a nice for trip the, for you. I'm hoping for the perfecta. Mm-hmm. That'd be a nice trip for you. It would be. Got that rolling forward shot. Yes, that's that's not a big fan of that one. Yeah, it's a tough shot though. Heffern always pops it over to the side rail. It yeah, it's called out. the cut break. You like to cut cut the break, you cut break the balls, and, and you're guaranteed to bring the cue ball backwards a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or you better draw your ball a little bit. I've seen that one do a lot of different breaks. Yeah, wants to play for. Numerous amount of years, and he 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 really is because you know, of his his not so big break. Yeah, he tries a lot of different things to make balls different speeds, different. Yeah, you know, he'll, he'll cut break them, draw break them. He 
just kind of hit him right there at certain speeds. And he's got an interesting player. Oh, yeah. To say the least. Yeah. That's good here. He just shut that little ten. He didn't drop back or anything. He just sinks the ball. Makes it a little more difficult for going from the two to the three, where if you shoot at the one and draw back a foot or two. It looks like you can go two rails and shoot the three in the corner or hit it a little harder and end up shooting it in, in the side, which would be natural angles towards the, the five, which is the next ball. Did you win the Music City Open, somebody asked? Uh, no, I haven't. Music City Open. That's in uh, J.O.B. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, I've uh, never been to Second, that third, fourth. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were doing it. They were ripping on you, right? Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Some smart aleck out there. Another one of my tournaments I like to go to, which uh, are real simple. There's action there. Uh-huh. Hard to win tournaments and do uh, game yeah. action. I bet. So it's one or the other when you're you're either making games or you're playing in the tournament. Yeah, but I like to do both. Yeah. I'm not gonna change now. What's the longest set you've ever played? Straight like a straight yeah, hours. I'm tell you something. It's, it's it's in the 30 hour session. Wow. So I was younger and it was in the 30s and. Jeez. It was really uh ridiculous. I played long sessions with guys like uh, Bucky Bell. And, huh. I mean, I can go through names that. Right. Not stop, but uh, it was all sure. Guys from the past. Who's your favorite player? Do you think who's the best player you ever seen? The best player I've ever seen play was Efren Reyes. So. Wow. I mean, he's just he's just special to to, to watch him do his thing. Yeah, he's and amazing. I, I really watched Alex grow from when he was like 17 to the age of 20, 25. He's and he was. Uh, he was the next best thing, and now he's you know, you're watching Shane grow and play. He's amazing. He's now the next best thing. I've seen Scott Frost grow as a one-pocket player. I've been some road trips with him, with all three of them. That was a great shot. I guess it was Shane Morrow. Yeah, I think uh, Alex is probably the only person besides Earl that can really challenge Shane Van Boney right now. Yeah. I think Alex really has got his number in some ways. You couldn't tell Shane that, though. No. Well, this, here's this Shane just missed another ball there. He sure did. There's that cue. He kind of likes to pound the cue a little bit when he misses a ball. <laughs> Somebody's a bucket ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh huh. We played a marathon session on a park table in a place called Sandusky, Ohio, one time. And uh -huh. We started, and he had to go change. He, was, he wasn't staying in the same hotel where the event was at, so he had to go change rooms. We were playing about 16 hours. Jeez. And we were, we were playing $1,000 sets, and we were dead even. And when he went to go change rooms, he said he'd be back in 10, 15 minutes. Well, 30 minutes later, I went and laid down in the room, and he come by about 15, 20 minutes later, and he pounded on the door, tried to get me up to get back out and play some more. By <laughs> well, that time, I said, he got no chance. Uh, yeah. I, I, I act like I wasn't even around. I just did not pay attention to the uh -huh. door. I was so tired. Yeah, I know how that is. Once you hit the, once you lay down, that's the end of it, probably. Yeah. <laughs> While you're still standing, you can keep going. 16 but... hours later. Jeez. They like race to nine for a thousand on a bar table. I don't know. That'd be 15 years ago. Or something. Wow. That's a heck of a game there. Yeah, that was a lot. That was pretty exciting. Uh huh. It's a more normal, normal pool. Ooh, he missed that ball. I yeah, he track did. Right he, off. He, had a, he had a nice shot to catch up 3 3 again, get back to this set, and make a long story short. Uh, he, here comes Shane. He's going to be cutting this in, and here goes that yep. cue ball up and down again. This is like a spin shot here. Yeah. Yes, we've heard of Bucktooth from the West Coast. Who hasn't? <laughs> Who's not heard of him? <laughs> And he makes sure everybody heard of him. Uh -huh. Whenever he's out and about, he tell you who he is, uh -huh. how much money he's got. And now he's the man, etc. Yes, I talked to him. Yes, I talked to Tony Chohan uh, two or three times a week. He's doing pretty good. Good. 
as long as we keep him uh, keep him in a little bit of money, he's going to be all right. He sounds like he's handling it as much as I'm sure he hates it. At the same time, he's looking forward to getting back out and uh, doing what he loves to do, which is play some pool and Good. carry on with whatever part of career he's going to carry on besides that. Yeah. My suggestion to the world is study poker while you're in there. You can play pool still, but they, you know what I mean? Then right. Get you some poker. A little bit more money going on in poker. Tell him Marty. Okay, I'll tell him somebody about him. Marty. You got a last name, Marty? It's Marty Herman. Marty Herman? Yeah, don't say Marty Herman. He's trying to be on the down low. Yes, I do remember Marty hit and run, hit and run by yours in Flint, Michigan, correct? With Ted, Ted Jose. All right, Dan Madden's going to sit in with you. He's one of your big fans. Okay, come on in, Dan. You can interview him. He's the star. He's the star. It's going to be four to two here. Shane Morrow does not stop cutting balls in, shooting them in from everywhere. This guy just <laughs> shoots from the street. He does. I mean, even my mind like a, like an Earl Strickland the way he shoots, shoots at balls, man. It's great. It's great. Oh, yeah, he shoots good. Yeah. And when they're working, it looks look. Really looks good. Yeah. I like him over Ronnie anyway. He should Shane should be him. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. You can see it after the handful of games that they played, six games. You can see the. Uh, looks like he's a better shooter, and it looks like. Uh, I mean, Ronnie plays good. I yeah, mean, we're trying to. I was trying to figure out where Ron Beard's from. Where is he from? He's uh, he's kind of from down around my way, like kind of. Okay. Like I, I'm from Altoona, okay. but I think yeah, he's. Altoona. Uh, I think he's up around. Yeah, he's got uh, some good players from up there. Well, he's up around Johnstown, I think. Okay. But yeah, I mean, he plays good. But this guy just looks like a little more, a little more firepower, right? Oh this yeah. Nine, uh, this Shane nine ball is all about firepower. Yeah, Shane actually uh, won the uh, eight ball at Valley Forge. Oh, good, okay. good for him. Yeah, he's uh, he's no slouch. Oh. He uh, beat uh, Sean Wilkie in the finals. Damn. There's a seasoned player who came up and uh, was playing real good. And he went ahead and beat him. You're still on the winner's side, right? Yes, fortunately, yes. This guy's not done yet. Uh, you know, with this game of nine ball, a lot of things can happen. Oh, yeah. As, long as he plays a little, just a little more solid, he's had some chances in, in kind of like that last game there. He missed the ball five, missed the five, real makeable five ball. Which I'm sure he probably makes uh, more often than he, than he misses. Yeah, he, uh, he won't give up. Like well, I, I, I played him quite often. I mean, okay. he doesn't give up. So. Okay, good. So it should uh, be interesting so the rest of the way out. We're not throwing the towel in uh, Oh, no. Just because he's down a couple of games. Yeah, the last guy, he just had me down six to three. Okay. And I come back and me. <laughs> well, congratulations. That was a good one. I watched a match a little while ago, and uh, the guy was down six to four, and he won three in a row. And, yeah, I, I just shot. Oh, it was ugly. Was it nice uh, to come back? If you give a few away, you, you kind of like want it back. Right. Yeah, it's That's... hard for me to sit around and then play. So the longer I sit, I just... the worse I can. You know, no, I, can... I was just saying that outside. I said, said you know, I enjoyed playing, but this two hours, an hour and a half, mm -hmm. two, three hours, whatever it is, I would enjoy that part of yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I commentated you and Dave's match. And... Yeah, you know, both of you guys were making a lot of errors oh you probably God. would never make on a, yeah. a normal day, you know. Yeah, I played good the first match, and somebody told me he played great the first match, and he then we does. both got up and played horrible yep. against each other. Yeah, he actually does play really well. Yeah, they say he played a real good first match, so I, I don't know if it was the... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, he just won uh, that Williamsport tournament up at Minoski's. Oh, he must have been frustrated. But, yeah, he... Uh, to, to play like that. And, and, right. And then I yeah. locked a ball in on him. I think I tried to make a one-rail bank, and it went two, and... He never really had a chance. It scores 4-4, four, four, and I made a combination on the nine next, and then something went for me. He never really had a chance to win after that, another game. I, yeah, I watched uh, your one pocket match yesterday, too. Okay. Yeah, Sean, that's my buddy. Oh, Sean. He, yeah, he's actually the one who owns the pool hall in my area. Okay. So it, the pool hall's in Duncansville, and gotcha. you know, he's the owner. So, like, you know, I'm actually from Holidaysburg, and he's from Duncan, or, you know, okay. well, he lives in Altoona, but the pool hall's in Duncansville. Yeah, so I mean that's where I frequent stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't see any trouble here. Looks like he should get out here. Yeah, Shane's uh, pretty consistent on running out. Huh?
stop it there. Now shoot the seven in the corner. Or is that the seven up there to go on the side? Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's in the middle of the table. The I'm going colorblind. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's kind of funny the angles, some of them, we don't have a. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought there. You had to just by the way you play position, we can we can see that it goes because he looks like an experienced player that. Uh, All right, but the two dark balls look the same. We can count on it. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. They look the same, and the two and the four look the same on this screen, but if you look at that screen, you can see them. Because this one here is a little, He's in a real good position up. now for it. He's going to be five to two and uh, alternate the break. That's a That three game deficit's yeah. huge. Yeah. It's a two game deficit. If you win one, you're right on the guy's butt. You know, you're, as, you're, yep. you're okay. Yeah, that's but gonna... not so much in this spot. Three games, you can you have the three game lead, kind of really relax. Yeah, Mike Miller, he had me down four to one at Valley Forge there. And I come back and made a hill hell until he finally broke and ran out on me. But oh, did he? What can Got you do? It. He plays so, good. So, so, I mean, yeah, you know, he catches up. It, yeah, yeah, he plays good, but I mean, I missed one ball. It cost me a set, like in the third set. So I beat him the second, 5 4. So okay. I went 5 4, 5 4. And then I was 2 2, and I missed a. Uh, an easier three ball, I'd put a lot inside and rattle it up. And, you know, now he's one ahead. And like you said, overnight break, you know, it's will kill you. Break, you know, yeah. if you don't keep the lead, like, you know, it'll kill you. Yeah, you got to maintain the lead. I mean, you can make some comebacks, but they're far and few in between usually. Yep. Yeah, especially when you're playing another good player. I mean, the chance to, you know, unless they really make player. a mistake or something. But, it, like you said, it usually don't happen. It's usually trouble. Ronnie, he used to have uh, he used to have a crazy break. I used to make fun of him and stuff. I don't know if he knows I made fun of him, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, he would snap the balls and his arms would fly out like he's yeah, airplane. Yeah, he's got hear, some. And you can hear him going like oh really? A mile away, like his eyes. If you were looking down at well, that, he didn't show like, us that here. His eyes get real big and <laughs> he's like, you know, like looking like a baseball coming out of a thousand mile an hour or something. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I like to see that. He should, could show a little spunk here. Yeah, well, when you're well he's, he's, he's going to have to break again, so maybe we can, we'll turn it around next time he's yeah. breaking. Actually, this is the, this was, that was the best break he's made because his cue ball's been going three rails, it's been going yeah. forward, and, and you're watching pool. And when I watch, I like to want, try and learn something. Right. And that's what you don't want to do. Yeah, he kind of, like, I noticed when he shoots too, he, like, uh, he like kind of twists his body when he shoots. Uh, right. Especially like when he has a shot that's like, uh, you know, you think you can barely get around a ball or something, like he wants it's to try tough. to steer it or something. You know, like, you know, I mean, he always usually makes it, but the body, the body, but uh, he, uh, body English. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Too bad that didn't steer it. Half the guys be pro, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see a guy that shoots it and they start leaning like this, like it's going to turn or something? Yeah, like <laughs> it's really going to make a difference, never gonna right? That's <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah, fun to watch, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's really an intense game. I mean, you know, what goes on in a player's heads it, it is incredible. You know, here's, here's, here's a guy who's down five to two. He's got a shot he can shoot at, but he's got to let the cue ball fly a little bit. Or he can play safe. Well, what about you, down two or five two? Would you, would you call uh, it to play safe or make it? I'm doing whatever that, what I, when I get to the table, whenever I feel I can execute the best. And if I'm going to do something like that, I'm, I'm probably going to shoot. You know, I like to. Leave my opponent where he's at, right in that chair. Yep. So if I got a makeable shot, and even though it's high risky and this and that, I, I'm gonna go uh, under these conditions because of the alternate break. Right, right. There's a little more strategy here. Yep. Yeah, the longer you keep him in a chair, like I said, you know, sitting around and then trying yeah. to play, it's just hard to do. So you want to keep I, him sitting. I agree with you 100. percent It really makes it tough on the player. The better players usually, you know, they, they're they supposed adapt. to be able just to get up and play. They, and they adapt. I used to be able to do that. <laughs> I have, I've been out of the loop for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Back I in. still play. You're back in, still play. And, I'll uh, play the way I was well, one time anyway. Okay. But I'm heading there. In the right direction, that's the main thing. Yeah, well, I recently moved and okay. had to uh, take down my nine foot table in the house, so. I had to take it down. That's going to hurt. Oh, oh, you're going to have to freak with the bird. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't think you're going to gonna make a rail here. Yeah. I mean, he looks real undecisive. Uh, I mean, I don't know. He might be a little uncomfortable for whatever reasons. Yeah, usually he doesn't do too many stupid things like that. Okay. I think he knew as soon as he hit it, uh, he didn't hit it hard enough, you know. Right. So there's a great opportunity here for Shane Morrow to go ahead and get on the hill and himself in a better position to do well in this tournament. Yeah, 
going to say two to the three is going to be his problem. Right. Set the two down there by the six or seven. It is a two, two to the six, and he uh, he's only got one pocket for the three uh, down in this part part of the table, anyways. Yep, left corner there. Unless he can come up with some other plan. Yeah, I don't see how Which he can possibly see, get over there. He's just going to have to take a hard shot on the on the. Uh, Way I'd see if on the three, if know, he, unless he bumps into him, yeah, which, uh, he, which he, is, he is supposed to do. I you know, thought maybe he might try to come up and then draw one rail and back on this side, but then he would still have to get around the five ball. But, but he'd be on the right side. Yeah, he can also hook him here. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, go. and that's yeah. what he chose to do, which is probably a pretty smart shot in this case. That's probably a smart. Thing. Even though he left him an easy hit. You know, if you're going to hook him, you're going to take away the side rail. You could, there's, a, there's a better way of hooking him. Just, uh, Which was know, room for error. It's you know, okay just, because uh, the percentage, it's a percentage shot. So. Yeah, you just want to try to force an error. I mean, even though, he, like you said, he can hit it, you know, uh, you know, now he's going to have to hope it goes somewhere good. Yeah. yeah he's got to kind of hit it, hit it kind of hard and separate him. Just put him in a little when bit it's, of When it's wide open like this, when there's balls that are closer to it, you can maybe finesse hit him. He, might he have, doesn't look like. Uh, he might have to put some English. I think yeah. he really, really hooked him. I think he's going to have to try to go around the four with a lot of spin or something. Yep, that's what he's going to do because he, he must have hooked him enough that he can't get down below the four there. Well, if he did that and froze it on the six, he would have made a good shot. Yeah, see, he's going to jack up there. He hit right, it. He hit it. He hit it. Well, that's so, the worst. So well, what I happened really in that case with Shane? He got the right reward. Right. You know, yeah. He, he got what he was looking and hoping for. Which was an angle on the two to get to the three because of the way the three set. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it looks like he's got himself a nice layout. Like you said, I'm, well, I'm, well, I think because he had to curve it, I think. Uh, it made it tougher to hit it hard. Yeah, right. Yeah, because if he had hit it harder, obviously he probably wouldn't have hit it. Well, you never know. He might have got a little more fortunate if he hits it the way he hit it. Yeah, it would have come up just a little it, higher. It would have come up higher. a little more fortunate. But. Yeah. But that's why you play safe, hoping. Uh, you know, force that. an error, you know. Exactly, and that's what he did. Good shot. It's like yeah. he's in total control of this game. Yeah, he should be out. He's probably just going to pull back and shoot five up here on the right hand. Really looks before. intense, this guy. I like. I kind of like the way he, he attacks the table. Oh, yeah. In he the knows. game, in the game, you know. He, he knows how to win. Yeah. He's, uh, he's no stranger to winning, that's for sure. Seven down there up here. It's a seven down on the, on the, okay. oh, on he the, got the good. table. He got good there. Yeah, he's in a real good spot. I mean, the position on the eight's a little bit tricky, but not, not really a lot. I mean, it only goes in the one pocket. So you want to get on an angle where you can, it's best for you to get on the eight. There you go. You got Go one rail up and down, and you can draw two rails for shape. Yeah, I think from here he's probably going to go one, right? You like the one? He got uh, yeah, he got he well, is, he got a little using, straighter. He's high English. He's going. He looks like he's going. One. Yeah, he got a little uh, yeah, that, little straight there. Now he's going to go uh, what? He's down, up, go and, up and down. back. Uh, yeah. Preferably, I would have probably went two because I was straighter on the seven. You know, I'd have drew it back. Right. Here, here, and back over here. Maybe three rails. Right. It's a little more controllable, but he's all right because he shoots so straight. Watch his shot up and down in the yep. hole. Perfect. Nice shot. nice shot. Put him on the hill. Yep. It's going to be. Much he's better playing with a lot of confidence, and he looks like he's shooting real good. It's going to take somebody to, uh, to break and run out and put him in some bad spots to beat this uh, where this guy's playing right here. Yeah, he plays. Uh, it's just one of about uh, I don't know a dozen dozen real good players that that look like they're playing pretty good pool right here right now. Mm -hmm. So as this here winds down, it's going to get good. It's the third round on the winner side, if I'm, if I'm correct. Alan's back door commentating there. Oh yeah. He can't stand that uh, camera thing up in there. Okay. It's an OCD kicking in. Bye. It is Shane's break, right? Yes. Somebody's got that done.
No, this uh, pocket cleaner, this is Dan Mad, not Sean Wilkie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him someone said I sound like him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Wilkie, yeah. Wilkie does some commentary. Yeah, I, I talk to him, one, I talk yeah, to him once in a while. So yeah, man, he, uh, he, he gets into it. Yeah, they said I sound like uh, Sean Wilkie. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, Shane Moore was on the hill, broke the balls, another one in, so Ron Beard's turn to uh, make a move. I mean, this isn't out of reach, but he's really in a bad spot to make a comeback. I mean, I'm sure it'd be best if we've seen a comeback. Yeah. If, if it's not, exciting to see a comeback. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I would say uh, he's probably just going to play safe, push the bar by the eighth. Or do you think he's going to go the other way? He can go both ways. I mean, it's a personal preference. Yeah, I, I, I like the gonna... I, I like the idea of trying to, if I can thin the one and freeze, hit the come to the rail for the cue ball behind this ball, would be a nice shot. About, this is uh... the uh, four ball, or just cut the one behind the four ball and put the cue ball on the bottom rail. Yeah, would, I was thinking he might take, uh, might cut the one over there and and try to take a cue ball back up tail. But it looks like he's going to go with the first choice here. Behind the four. That's like a, oh, he oh, went for the geez. nine. He, went, he surprised <laughs> hey, all of us. Hey, Look at this shot. It. This guy says, I'm going for it. Now I'm backs against the wall. <laughs> Whatever yeah. that was, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> he saw some. Now he's playing a bigger on a three. See something else. And he missed it. Yeah, that was not bad. He looks bad, but I mean, it was a good shot because he's behind. He's got to win, you know. Uh, and, and it was a makeable shot. So, you go down swinging. You're going to have to uh, swing a little straighter. <laughs> that went wacky jacky. Yeah, whoever said I sound southern? Do I sound southern? Well, I, had someone else little... say, I had someone else say I have an accent. I'm from Pennsylvania. Center of Pennsylvania. I think it's just all the road travel. <laughs> I, I, I acquired something somewhere. <laughs> I guess we got a little southern whatever. Yeah, that's why they they thought uh, me and Wilkie sound the same. Okay. This was tournaments all up to uh, in Maryland and et cetera, et cetera. Is that why I didn't get to a full field here? Yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah, they were having a. Uh, is that a planet pool today? Okay, planet I pool. Think, uh, that way. I think it was a planet pool uh, at, if not mistaken, it was Cantonsville. I'll let you know here in a second. No, sorry, it was the Action Pool Tour. Oh, the Action Pool Tour. At uh, first break in Sterling, Virginia. Oh, in Sterling, yeah. So that could have, uh, I don't know why they would put two tournaments on the same. There's so many tours and stuff now, so you can't. Right. But you know, this is a once in a once a year thing. Uh, I don't know what the players are thinking or what's going on, but they should support something like this a little better. Right. But nice I, room. Nice room. I can rec highly recommend this room. It's a real nice right. room to stop and play at. And, uh, I'm sure you catch some kind of a game. I'm sure they have uh, events here weekly and yeah, yeah. In the surrounding area within the within an hour, an hour and a half. You guys are from Altoona, right? That's an yeah. hour and a half or so. Uh, about two hours. Yeah. Two hours, okay. Well, within a couple hours. Yeah, yeah I wish. Uh, Stuff to do. Yeah, I remember when I used to be in Indiana. I mean, it, uh, up there at uh, Bushwhacker's place up at Gary, Gary Nolan's. Gary Nolan, yeah. We and, uh, I was hoping to see him when we come here. Yeah, he. Uh, Originally from Michigan, where, he where, closed where up. I live at. Oh. oh, look at Shane Morrow miss this ball to win the yeah, set. Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> Yeah, well, pretty much safe. Yeah, I'll be happy just to have this. But the only, the only thing I wish, no offense, Ronnie, is I wish like they kept it Pennsylvania, you know, That's what, Pennsylvania yeah, State now. I understand. Like, uh, I mean, I can play. I play in Maryland. Uh, I think Maryland and Pennsylvania is the only two that have the states that you have to be. You can be from. You anywhere. have to be from that, or, or well, you can be from anywhere. Yeah, Virginia, you have to be from Virginia. From Virginia, I know that. Like, because I was going to play in Virginia, an F. and you couldn't play in it. As long as your state players are supporting it properly, right. you can do that as an owner. 
But yeah. if, if if he didn't have a lot of state players here, I don't know what he what he what kind of right. he'd have. Exactly. Yeah, because, I, mean, I like it. Because it a lot you of guys, stuff. Well, yeah. it's not that it's you guys aren't 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 supporting it as well as you, you probably should. Yeah. You know, for nice him to shot. not not need players from out of state in order to right to fill her up, fill her up, draw a crowd, okay. have a good event. Yeah. Have something exciting for people in the city of Pittsburgh. If uh, people involved in pool to come yeah. and sweat and watch. Yeah, I mean, I wish they just have a couple events, you know. But the Pennsylvania State Nine Bowl should be PA only. You know, they could well, have a couple more and just call if, it something else. If <laughs> they, if like I said, I'm gonna go back and repeat myself. If you guys, you players in Pennsylvania, supported it properly, he would do it. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I know Paul pretty well. There's a lot. So there's a lot of good your players. Own players in fault. Yeah, but, but, but if you're I'll, not, not I'll, coming out to support him, he would never have opened it up to other players from other states. Right. Yeah, so a lot of uh, that's how pool owners think. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the uh, the good players are uh, you know more to the eastern part of the state. I think. Okay. You know, cause you got Mike Miller. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of guys down that way. But a lot of them, I think, like Adam Keeler. He's from up around uh, Scranton, I think. Right. Um, who else up there? Kevin Clark. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of good Kevin players. And I know Adam. I've played but a lot Kevin. of those guys. Kevin. Are, I haven't played Adam yet, but I played Kevin. He's a good, definitely a good player. You know, a lot of them guys are out east and, and way up north toward New York and stuff. Yeah, and they don't support what's going on, what the guy tried to do, have a Pennsylvania State Championship. Mm -hmm. They don't come to the event to support it. So, in all fairness, in all reality, you're a pool owner, you want to have an event because what you enjoy maybe you want to see some good pool playing and that's what happens so just like kind of we have the michigan yeah we, had, we, had, we, had, we just had we just had a michigan open you know what i mean and we have players from over over in ohio etc etc right and it didn't bother us you gotta play you gotta play Okay, Ronnie's got to go. He's got to play. It was fun. Um, push the first one. Yep. No, no, no. Just the button. No, the other button. Push that one down. And the white button above it. There you go. Yep. Hey, can you guys still hear me? Good luck, Ronnie. Can you guys still hear me? What about now? Better this way? Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, Ronnie's going to have to get something going here. There you go. Now press go. that one button in there. Okay. Okay. Now press it in again, that one. This one? Yeah. I just, that's the way I was. There you go. Now I had it like that. You told me to push it again. Get him, Ronnie. Show him what's up, man. This is big kids land. All right. Land of the big kids. They play on pool tables. We don't play out on the playground. We play on pool <laughs> tables. 
How's Dan's switching ability? You been keeping him keeping him going? Oh yeah. Yep. All right. Yes, sir. We got her under control. Got to show off our four camera setup. We got. How about it? All right. Here we go. Uh, Ron has a match. That's why you can't hear Ron. Uh, Alvin's actually on. Hey, I'm Ron. <laughs> hey. Believe it. Got that Detroit lean going on in his voice there. You do sound southern. Do I? Yeah. I guess someone else just told me that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm from Center PA. I think, like I told you, I just think it's all trap. Center PA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Cedar PA. No, you don't have Jeff Abernathy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's uh <laughs> He's my favorite commentator. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely Southern. <laughs> Shout out to Jeff. Hey, right, Ronnie got a little little underneath. I was gonna take it to the other side of the table there. That's in. TV Mike says you definitely have a southern accent. Yeah, I see now. I don't know. I, I think it's just all the traveling I did. I think I acquired something somewhere, I think. Yeah, we have four camera cards. Okay. Well, another game, and uh, this might be a real good game. Yeah, I'm about, uh, about 40 minutes from State College. I'm actually from Holidaysburg. It's right by uh, Altoona. Up 99? Yep. You live by JR, kind of. JR. Calvert. He lives in Catanning. Oh, Catanning's probably two hours north. Oh, you're. That's probably up toward Butler. Stuff. I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm an Ohio boy, so. Sean Wilkie is from. Um, Maryland. Uh, Havre de Grace. Yep, that's it. I was going to say I know it, but I couldn't, I don't know how like I couldn't say it or something. <laughs> All right, let's see. Upstate New York. Okay. Paul Jr. No, he's from Havre de Grace, Havre Maryland. Grace, now. Yeah. Maybe now. Oh, really? really? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Swings at it. They fired. Blink, no luck. Oh. Corky's pouring. Okay, let's Paul see. Says. Let's see what uh, Ronnie just chooses to do here. TV Mike. Let's see what he does here. That's going to be pretty interesting. I'm just wondering if maybe he's going to try that one off the six in the side and, and pull it back a little bit. And if he misses, it's going to come to the bottom rail down here. Uh, he's really going to have to thin this ball or he's going to have a shot in the side pocket. Oh, he can make it down there. He has a chance to get out here. Yes, he does, my friend. He does now. Yes, he does. Action packed Pennsylvania nine ball championships. I'm not sure where Ronnie's from. I know he's from up around Johnstown area there. I think he said it takes him about 40, 45 minutes to get there. So he lives up around there somewhere. Uh, his buddy Butch Weimer's here. I think uh, he's. Uh, I know where he's from too. He's about the same, same distance away. But he's also here. Okay, Ronnie has a good chance of getting out here. Do another stop shot.
to. He's gonna bring her to the bottom rail by the looks of things. Gonna come up underneath and shoot it in the side pocket unless he gets straight and shoots it up in the corner. I thought he might draw back over, but. Yep, he's hitting high again. Did, but I don't think he hit it real well. I'm going to say at the position he's in right now, he's going to fire at this one. Oh, yeah. He's going to try to bank us. Down 6 4, and he has a chance to win. Uh, I mean, if he banks it in, he's going to be straight in on He's going to be perfect on the eight ball anyway. Yep. Uh oh. Yeah, I would have shot that too. I like the look he gives every time he makes a ball. <laughs> He's a stranger, man. <laughs> Got that look on his face. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Seems like a cool guy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Crooked Q, I don't know if Butch Weimer's still in or not. Um, not 100% certain. All he's gonna do is draw us back a little bit. You gotta hit this pure. He's taking too long. Nice uh, though, he made it. Yeah, he plays pretty slow. He t he mm -hmm. takes his good old time. That's where he'll walk around the table every few times. And you know, look, he's gonna. He's a good old boy, huh? Yeah, he always fiddles around. And... Fiddles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good old boy that fiddles around. <laughs> Yeah, Ronnie, he don't nice. he don't give up. That's for sure. So, Good, that's what we want. That's right. Somebody that doesn't give up. Yeah, giving up ain't no fun. No. Nobody's home. You're getting Shane cold. It's not a good thing to do. How about it. And he gets the break. Oh, uh, this is like the spot I was in. The guy had me down six to three. I think he broke dry. I run out, and then I break, and I do something dumb, and he gives it back. Or no. Yeah, I, I broke and ran out, and then he, he did something dumb. I ran out, and broke and ran out. And then he was breaking on the hill, like, you know, when it's hill, hill. And he did something uh, stupid on the one ball. He like, all he had to do was roll it up, and he tried to bring it up the table, and he scratched the corner, and it was all poke, 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 poke. Mm -hmm. So I like, you know, six or seven balls, all I had to do was poke them. They were all right and hanging in the corner pocket. I'm glad they were the way I was shooting. It would have been ugly if I had to run out for real. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> this game's amazing sometimes. Things that happen. Uh, Bobby, there's, uh, yeah, they have, what, six gold crowns in the back? They're actually playing only on the diamond tables. Yeah, ten diamonds, I believe he has. Really yeah, nice I bet you, uh, uh, Yeah, they're coming out, I think, uh, I think Shane would like to have an eight ball back. He missed, uh, that's for sure. Uh, while you were away there, Alvin, Shane missed an easy eight ball. He did. Like, all he had to do was like, make eight and it was over. And, and that was at 6-2 uh -huh. or something I like that. I think I sharked him on that shot. Yeah, yeah. I think I did. I that's think 30. I walked right in front of him on, my, on accident. That's dirty. It was just a couple minutes ago before I came up. About a minute before I came up. Yeah, he... Uh, yep. I remember he was firing in the pocket he's standing right at, too. I knew I walked in front of him. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe I just did that. See, you know, if Ronnie would have got that and made that, I think that was he'd, have been, fault. he'd have been sour <laughs> because mm -hmm. I, he was going to try to play a safe and almost went in. Uh -huh. But I'm sure Shane's just going to be happy to see the table again. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, the name of this place is Breakers Billiards. It's in uh, Dormont. It's in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> yep. It's on Potomac Street. Yep. Potomac Avenue. On the hills. <laughs> yeah, it's on some hills, that's for sure. We're up on top of the bowl, southwest side of the bowl around downtown Pittsburgh. I'm going to look at the overlook tonight, too. All right. Oh, yeah. Is that the, the trolley? I'm, no, I'm going to go I, somewhere over there. There's something like kind of cool place to go. What are you talking about? Like the. You can look out over the city. I'm going to go check it out. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it might have the. Uh, 
monocle. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. Never know. <laughs> Never know. It's overlook, I mean. That could mean a lot of things, I guess. Should be cool. Shane works at a casino, says TV Mike. Yeah, he works uh, at one of the casinos. Was it Ohio? Does he work at a casino in Ohio? Uh, Erie, PA, Prescott. Mount Washington. Isles. That's it. Yeah, Mount Washington. They're telling me to go over there. Yeah, our one friend, he went to... Uh, Don't try the main route up there. Casino. Uh, Shane took a break. Getting his winter coat on here. Yeah, I don't got the AC down to about yeah freezer time. I'm about to go out and get my uh, my long sleeve shirt. I don't play good when I'm cold. Uh, like when I'm like you know freezing cold, uh, it's ugly. Don't go the main road up there. It's closed. Yeah, we don't have casinos oh, here yet. No, it's going to go in. Wow, oh, Ronnie's going to be sick. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. That's like the roles I was getting. That guy I played, I mean, he was getting every roll. He was trying every shot he shouldn't try, and he was just making everything, and they were just going everywhere he wanted to go, and it was, uh Now, if he makes us nine, Ronnie's going to be sick. Mm -hmm. I won't be surprised if he leaves. I know how wrong he is, you know what I mean? He's into it, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, he can make Ooh, that. He made that perfectly. I think he's not going to have a... I'm not going to let this go again. Yeah, he's going to come uh, two rails and up on the top of the six there. Yeah. Uh-oh, he's going to get underneath it. Oh, he might have got a lucky bump. Yep, it's good enough for him, I bet. You better play this ball right. No, he dogged it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, well, it rolled over there. It didn't get easy. Uh-oh. I'm sure Ronnie's just glad to see the table again. Yeah, he's smiling, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Look at him. If he misses us, you're really going to get the luck of evil. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Cause... Did he get into yeah, it? Right? Yeah, look, he's, he's like just happy to be at the table. and Like, I know how wrong he gets, you know what I mean? Like, I play him all like a thousand times in Johnstown. He doesn't like to lose, huh? No, he doesn't like to lose. And uh, like I said, he, I mean, he never gives up. And, but, uh, yeah, he misses us. He's he going gonna, gonna to be pretty angry at himself. <laughs> all right, let's have it on this, this camera here. Just in case. <laughs> That's good. He's kind of looking at his, the tip for a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you should walk the rest of the way around and look at that angle. Right. Just right. Not just Be lean. still. Not yeah. just lean. You should go over and get balanced. Still look. look at it. Well, he's still gonna have to get on this seven ball. He knows he needs to look at it too. Yeah, I mean, he's still gonna have to get on this seven ball after he makes. It's gonna go two rails. He's probably gonna go up above it and shoot it down the same corner. I'm assuming. Oh, watch his feet. I knew it. Well, it's kind of a two-way shot, but he missed. I didn't think he's gonna miss it that side. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I think he was containing himself there. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, can you see the table three there? They done over there. I wonder who won that. I had to play the winner of that. Are they still playing? Who is it? It's Alfredo's match. I got the uh, winner of Alfredo's match. Yep. We're putting you on the TV table if if. Uh, Alfredo and. Uh, right. He said. There's another match going on. Dave Deyes, if he if the one guy wins, they're gonna put that match on. But if he doesn't win, then Rob Crawl. If Rob Crawl wins, then they're, we're gonna put Dave and Rob on. If Rob oh, no, doesn't I, win, I think uh, I was down there. I can't. I'm trying to. I'm going to say Rob lost, but I'm not sure. All right. Well, if he lost, then I'm you not and Brian sure. are on the TV. Because he was playing when I was playing, mm -hmm. and I don't know how he was doing, but I know. Uh, I don't, you know, I mean, both of them were like, eh, disgusted, so, I mean, I don't know how it turned out, you know what I mean, so I could, you know, I'm not, don't quote me on anything. <laughs> well, there was the look, I saw the look, he missed the ball, and Shane's got the out, if he plays it right. Who's the names in this, you talking about this match right here, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Well, look at how tight of a uh, shot this is, Ooh, <clears> banked <throat> it, oh. real nice, it should be over here. Yeah, I would Shane, imagine. uh, <clears throat> 
Shane takes every chance he can get. He doesn't, uh, I mean, if he even thinks for a second he can make a ball, I mean, he fires. He don't, uh, you know what I mean? He, oh, he dogged again. Oh, my gosh. That's two balls now he missed. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, who's the big names? Uh, let's see. Eddie Abrams, yeah. Ronnie Wiseman. Yeah, Eddie Abrams, Shane. Joe Abraham, uh, Ronnie Wiseman, Gary Abood, Shane Morrow, uh, Mike Wong's here, uh, Rob Crawl, he plays good. Dave Dea. Dave Dea, Chip mm -hmm. Klein, Noel McCollum, uh, Richie Richardson. Wow, uh, it's going to be a hill hill yeah, thriller. Shane breaking be a on the hill. Shane breaking on the hill. Oh boy, I can't believe I, he had two chances to win this. Two chances. He had a chance right there, and he had a chance at 6 2 to wow. end it, and I'm sure he's going to be sick if Ronnie comes back and beats him after all that. Our sponsor is Gokan Sinar with South Park Mitsubishi, Ernie the Jeweler Lorelli, Tony Zenner, Alan Landy, Dave Hanna, Monty Cues, Landy Construction, Zenner Vending, SWPA, APA League, James White, Monty Cues. Those are the sponsors for the tournament, and the sponsors for Inside Pool are Mueller's, Sabonis Cloth, Tom Simpson's National Billiard Academy, Hammerhead Hustling Clothing Wear, Pool Player Excuses, Kamui Tips and the Bank Shot Calculator app. Bank Shot Calculator. My friend. Hill Hill. Hill Hill. And then Breakers Billiards is Breakers Billiards and Lounge.com. Good one, Dan. <laughs> uh oh. Nine ball. What's going to happen? Ooh, he's on the rail. Okay. Makeable shot, but ouch. How do you like to look at this on Hill Hill? I'm just glad I ain't playing that. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. We that's got our pick. Lee. Oh, look, we got someone. Uh... Yeah, that's Upstate Al. Thanks, our moderators. Upstate Al, corner marker Bob. He took Carrie Underwood out. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Honestly, I don't think Shane is going to do anything stupid anymore. Because. Uh, Better not. Uh, uh oh. Yep. Bridge he, under. He is out. Troubled water. He's okay. He's okay. All right. I, w I would lay any money right now. He's out. Any he money. will not do that again. I guarantee it. Okay. I know how Shane is, and I know he won't. After he did it a second time, mm. I guarantee it. It won't happen a third. <laughs> All right, Dandy. I don't like usually betting on anybody else but myself. But, uh huh. But I know how he, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe he's having a bad day. Who knows? But I would say he wouldn't do it again. Yeah, Shane actually won the uh, the eight ball at Valley Forge this year. He beat Sean Wilkie in the finals. Sure did. So I mean, he's definitely no slouch. He's just uh, the other day. You're saying? No, the oh. uh, at the Super Billiards Expo, uh, the eight ball one they had uh, yeah. last year. Yeah, that we did that? the stream there. Yeah. 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 He uh, he beat Wilkie in the finals. He's uh. Uh huh. Yeah, he's a good shooter. That's for sure. Okay, this is all it's going to take. When he gets comfortable, it's over. Yep. There we go. There's Michael Wong. Michael Wong. There's Michael Wong on table three. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan Madden, for showing up. And uh, I bet it's time for you to play, my friend. You Maybe so? on the TV, too. Uh oh. Hope I shoot better than last match, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm signing out. And, All righty. Uh, we'll be back for the next match.